these preferences, you know, and still bring in the same revenue as today. Uh, and realistically, there's not that much to bring the rates down uh, all that much. And furthermore, bringing the rate down is not an end in itself. Um, it's, uh, it's some of these plans actually are kind of counterproductive. They take away tax preferences for new investments that haven't been made, but not from the old investments that are already there. And so when you lower the rate, you end up discovering that what you've done is you've given this unexpected windfall gain to the investments that have already been made that clearly don't need any extra incentive since they've already been done. But meanwhile, you've actually raised the tax penalty on people trying to make or thinking about making the new investments. So those kind of reforms really seem pretty limited. Even if they're done in a way that works well, they're only going to produce a modest gain and leave all these basic problems unchanged. Uh, then the other set of reforms, of course, try to tinker with the source and the residents. And I guess you've already mentioned those, Eric. I mean, some of them say, let's tax uh, comp U.S. Windfall. 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 Windfall.